This was the final live performance of the A Hidden Order exhibition, uh, which has been a long-term collaboration between myself and geometer Samamara. Uh, we've essentially been looking at the relationship between music and geometry, finding a space where the two overlap. We created a suite of ten pieces for mixed ensemble, which uh, were then visualised um, into these prints using very rigorous geometric rules. To get to this point, we really put in a lot of hard work. It was, it was really just coming back to that question, what is the relationship between sound and light, between music and pattern? Really opening up and exploring it was the, um, was the journey there on for the last two and a half years, was, was seeing how far we could take that. Exploring different symmetries, of hexagons, pentagons, octagons, squares, each have their own challenges musically and and programmatically as well. So when you make a sound, it makes a mark on the grid here. When you play a rhythm, it makes a particular pattern. And uh, when you play a different pitch, it makes a different colour. So you can imagine all the infinitely variable possibilities of music create different patterns. take from this. First of all, the beautiful experience. This is ultimately what I feel art and music is about. It is about engaging with harmony, harmony of sound, harmony of space, and letting that affect us in a positive and beautiful way. I've never really seen anything like that before and uh... Yeah, the connection between the music and the geometry was something pretty special. Oh, I thought it was uh, really beautiful, um, visually fantastic. Mind-blowing in a way. Well, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, uh, I think it gives you an idea of the potential of um, this material as a, as a creative medium for composers. Normally a composer would just have to work with their inner eye when they're trying to compose a piece, but now there's a potential for them to actually see a composition emerging visually. So that seemed really exciting to me. Also, I'd like them to take away a question, to raise that question. Is there a relationship between sound and light, between music and pattern? And if that stays with them, then I think we've done our job.